Okay, hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to have a look at the head from the front view while it's facing down. So in other words, like this. Or if we put that in upper graphic mode, like this. So by the way, in the full course, we will be doing all these nine views. The full course is available on Skillshare and Udemy, link in the description. So to understand and reconstruct these cubes when viewed from the front and rotated downwards, let's first open this temporary layer and copy and paste the rotated side view over here. Then we're going to use both the rotated side view and front view to reconstruct this new view. If you are on pen and paper, I'm going to recommend that you uh, redraw this rotated side view side view again over here make sure that you sketch it in uh, very light so that you can easily erase it again later once you're done with the reconstruction of the front view we will use the cubes of the front view and the rotated side view to help us reconstruct the cubes for the new view for the resulting proportions to make sense though we need to make sure that the sizes of the squares in both the front and the side views are consistent in other words, this distance should be equal to distance, distance. And here we have the cranium. Let's put in the chin as well. something like this so you can see it looks a little elongated compared to how it was before and to make things a bit less confusing i'm going to shade in the lower face okay i think i'm gonna hide the temper Relay again. Oh, I've been coloring on the wrong layer the whole time. Let me just correct that quickly. And let's draw in the basic forms in green. As we know, the sides are uh, flattened out. And the hairline would be something like this. The hairline would be in the front and the back of the head would be a bit like this. So this would be uh, the top of the head very roughly. And let's draw the brow line. So you can think of the face as a kind of cylinder. And since the cylinder is rotated downwards, the surface of the cylinder, the front of the cylinder, forms a kind of U-shaped curve. And essentially later we're going to place the features on this surface. Then when it comes to the ears, if we look at the temporary layer again, you would see that the ears come around somewhere in this, in this square, which corresponds to over here quite high up and now let's look at the jawline let's just keep it simple and just connect these lines okay let's draw in the features starting with the hairline the cranium, the ears, let's have a look at the nose, the nose would come out something like here, 
and it would be covering the mouth. Most of the mouth would be behind the nose. When it comes to the brows, they're over here. And the eyes. It would appear to be a bit closer to the brows because the brows are sticking out. So if we look at the side view, the brows stick out in front of the eyes so that the brows would be covering the top part of the eyes. And also since the face is rotated downwards, we'd only see the eyelids and we probably wouldn't see any of the white of the eye. So you may notice that all these features follow a slight upwards curve. This is because the front of the face is actually like a cylinder and when you rotate the cylinder you see the curve of the cylinder. While if we were looking at it head on it would appear to be more of a flat line. Okay so that's it for sketching in the features. Let's draw in the line work next. And next we move on to coloring. And the final step, we move on to shading. As usual, we keep it simple, pick a lighting position, and then use the cubes and the basic forms to sketch in the major regions of shadow, and then use the fill tool to fill it, in, fill it up. So that's it for the front view looking down. Thanks for watching. I'm just going to do some final touch-ups. In the next video, we'll draw the front view looking up. See you then. Bye for now.